Hey YouTube friends, Tony here with an update on the van build. And uh, this marks the, we're either at or near the six month mark in the build. And uh, as I've stated throughout this process, <laughs> this was gonna be done in two months. Yeah, silly me. Uh, I need to give myself credit for, for venturing to something and, and biting off more than I can chew. I've never done this before. So I just need to give myself credit for, for the process, the progress I've made thus far in the build. So I'm gonna celebrate that. And just throughout this process, especially in the last 30 days, I've just been re re resetting my, my expectations in terms of how long it's gonna take. I, I've just stopped estimating. I, uh, that, what I will say is I feel that I'm about 60% uh, completion of the build here because the, part is, the hardest part so far that gave me the most trouble was building out that cabinet, as, you, as, you, as you've watched me do uh, over the process here. So now that, now that the cabinet's in, it's bolted down, it's fitted, the countertop's on, the sink is installed, and you know, the, the faucet's installed. So today, my task is to get measured and hopefully the holes cut where I wanted to install the diesel heater. You've gone through the process with me uh, of how I was going to heat this van. For most of the build and even my planning stages, I was sure it was going to be um, the Wave 3 with propane. And uh, with my redesign, my rethinking of things, um, not going that route gave me a lot more space in my cabinet. Now with the diesel heater option, I'm losing some space underneath, some storage space underneath my bed but not as much as I would in terms of if I had gone the other route with the propane solution. So I'm actually gaining more space with, uh, with the diesel heater option. So I'm happy about that. And then I've got a better option in terms of having heat that's dry uh, as opposed to radiant heat, which may actually help to create moisture in the van, which I don't want to do. I want to eliminate that as much as possible. So dry heat, more space gain, win-win. Okay, so in addition to making the changes from propane to diesel heater, what I discovered is I was gonna place the diesel heater underneath um, the cabinet with the fuel, everything in that section there. What I discovered is there's no way I can place the diesel heater under the cabinet because on that side, you've got the, you've got the the fuel tank for the van itself. You've got a, a bunch of cross members under there and then the, the way I would have had to place it, it would have actually put it, you know, three to four inches into the van outside of the cabinet. Uh, that was a place where, that's probably the only place where I could actually drill holes in the, the floor of the van. And even still, moving it underneath the bed on the opposite side of the cabinet, a little bit more space and in terms of placement, everything works out, but I still have a tight window of where I can actually mount the diesel heater on the floor. Because again, this van is compact, man. You talk about a, a micro build, you look underneath this van, there's not a lot of spaces to, to drill holes and, and mount things. So I have to be very precise about where I place this. So that's my plan today. I, and when I woke up this morning, I'm like, oh yeah, well, even last night I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this installed, get the heater done and everything like that. And uh, we know how that goes. So today, my plan is to simply get everything marked off and ready to drill holes. If I can get holes drilled today, great. But my, my whole plan is to make sure that everything is precisely measured and uh, placed where I want to have that heater installed. And I'm happy. Okay, got my measure, my measuring done to my satisfaction. My my, my six to seven measures. Um, double checking underneath and on top. I think I'm ready to, to start my pilot hole. In fact, I know I am. I'm going to drill it right now while you watch. Turn my lamp on. <sighs> hey folks, not sure what happened, but uh, in reviewing back, I lost about uh, 
10 minutes of video footage. Um, I think it cut off right when I was making my first pilot hole, and then my second pilot hole and whatever I was talking about after that is gone. I'm not, I've got about 10 gigabytes left on this card, about a, um, so I'm not sure why it cut out. And I had enough battery power, so I'm not sure what's going on. I think I need a new phone here. So I've got the pilot holes drilled. I uh, actually stepped out, went to my local uh, caribou. We got caribou in our area here and got myself a nice uh, cinnamon rooibos herbal tea. Ah, in addition to have my gloves on, I think I'm right where I should be in terms of comfort and war warmth. Anyway, I'm gonna, I think I'm ready to actually attach my hole making bit and make the holes. The only concern I have is with that is where I live, you know, there's still mice, things like that. If I drill these holes and I don't put the, and I, I'm not ready to put the, the heater in today, will I wake up in the morning and have a lot of mouse poop around here? I don't know, I could. So I'm looking around, scanning the, uh, scanning the van. I think, I think I'll drill the holes and then tonight what I'll do is I'll put, um, I've got some uh, paint cans. I think I'll do that. I'll put a board down, I'll put some paint cans on top of that. Mice are not gonna be able to poke through that unless we got rats. And in that case, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if, I wake, if I wake up and come out to my van in the morning and there's a rat in here, yeah, uh, he can have it. <laughs> I had experience, with, let me, that brings me uh, to a story. I had experience with, the, with a rat. Uh, first time I ever seeing a rat when I was in high school. And the place we lived in at the time, um, we had an issue with uh, sometimes sewage backing up. And my mom had called out the, the local Rooter company, whoever they were at the time, I think it was Rotor Rooter. Um, and they came out, and at this point, I had been living in the basement for, oh man, probably about six months. And I uh, was loving it. Had everything set up the way I wanted. Back then, I had, uh, I had a bumper pool table in my room, I had weights and a bench and all that stuff. And, I just remember I was sitting down one day and my, my stepfather was uh, home, my mom was at work and uh, it, was, uh, it was like a weekend or something and, and we were just, it was kind of a chill day, just, just him and I in the house and, and I'm in my room and I'm pumping weights on the incline. I see this shadow run across the room in the darker part of the room where the lights were off and I was like, the heck was that? It kind of looked like a cat. And I'm like. My eyes have to be deceiving me. There's just no way there's something in here. And if there is something in here, what is it? And it, it really freaked me out because I'd never seen that before. So silly me, I didn't even go look. I just I kept pumping weights. I saw the shadow again. I'm like, okay, this is freaky. So I hit the lights, turn everything on. I'm looking around. All of a sudden, I see this huge rat, big as a cat. I ran out of the room upstairs. I told my stepfather, I said, hey, there's a rat downstairs. He's like, oh, <laughs> you know, tough guy. He's like, yeah, just a little mouse. You'll be all right. Come on. I'm like, no, you got to see this. And he's like, he's like, all right. I'm like, no, let's bring something too because uh, we're going to try and kill this thing or something. Well, he comes down and uh, we couldn't find it. And he's got a broom. He's like poking around areas. And uh, I'm like, Maybe it moved to, to another part. So there was like, my mom had a bunch of file cabinets and, and files and things in, in, in a square corner of the room. And uh, he's poking around there. He's standing on top of a small file cabinet. All of a sudden you hear him scream, whoa! He falls back off the cabinet and runs upstairs. <laughs> I'm sitting there. I, I ran back, I didn't run upstairs with him. I ran to the other side of the room and I'm just, I couldn't stop laughing. I saw where the rat like went to the opposite side of the room and was hiding. And I, I was scared, I was freaked out, but I wasn't as freaked out because I already knew what to expect. So he's upstairs like freaking out, panting and breathing. And I'm sitting down there laughing, trying to catch my breath, not because I was, I was shocked by the thing, but I'm just laughing because his whole response to the whole deal. So, um, so we regroup. He comes back down, <laughs> so we're looking again. He hands me the broom, and we find it. We finally find it around the corner of my room, under the stairs, and he's trapped. Um, and uh, I'm coming towards it. I don't know what to do. I'm like, I don't, I've never, 
kill the rat, and I probably shouldn't have killed it. I feel bad. It was a sentient being. I probably shouldn't have killed it, but back then, you know, rats, I don't know, you hear stories about them biting you, giving you rabies and stuff like that. Nothing to play with. So I get towards that thing. I take a swing. He scurries past me. Again, my, my stepfather runs out of the room. I'm freaking out, and uh, I'm chase, trying to chase him. I'm trying to hit it. He goes back down the hole. So what happened is the rotor rooter guy came out. Apparently there's this cap on there that, that keeps vermin out. Well, that cap was, you can see that the cap, when you look closely next to the, the, the sewage hole, the cap was off and out. So you didn't replace the cap back. So we had the sewage, everything off of the hole. Mount, the rat, he was huge. He, he went back down this little, I mean, it must've been like an inch and a half inch wide hole. He went down that hole, he was gone. Um, I put something back on the, I put everything back to where it should be. And then my stepfather went back up and sure enough, another one was down there. I don't know how that second one got in. I don't know where he was hiding while we were chasing the first one, but we saw that one. Um, I actually ended up, uh, taking that one out. Uh, yeah, he, uh, saw his last days and had to like scoop him up, take him out, throw him in the garbage. Whew. Any rate. That's my rat story. I'm sticking to it. Back to uh, this good stuff here.